Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This morning we're making a slow cooker pork. It's gonna be um, an Italian beef roast. So, but we're using pork. So all you're gonna need is you're gonna need a pork shoulder, okay? You're gonna need one stick of whole butter. You're gonna need one packet of ranch seasoning mix. You're gonna need one thing, one packet of brown gravy mix, and you're gonna need some pepper cheese. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna get my slow cooker and I'm gonna turn it on, get it on high. That way to start, because I want the crock pot to kind of heat up while we're doing our recipe. So I'm gonna get it on high right now. Now, the one thing you don't want is that juice. Juice is what you don't want. So you're gonna throw your pork in your slow cooker. This juice is what you don't want, okay? And then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the rest of the ingredients. So I'm just gonna throw this away. So that way I don't... I'm gonna get it on high. So your pork is in there. You wanna make sure that your pork is in the base. It's in the center of your slow... That's where the heat is. You're gonna throw in one packet of ranch seasoning all over. And you basically, you want it to cover the meat really good. So cover that meat really well. And then you're gonna throw in one packet of gravy mix. Same idea, just throw it on top. You want it to cover the meat quite a bit. What we will be doing is we'll kind of maybe you might rub it into the pork. Because what you want is you want your pork to be completely covered into that meat. Into that, you want to be completely covered in that sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do like I do my regular pulled pork. I'm going to get the seasoning on top. So all the way around, both sides. Okay, just rub it into your pork. And what you want to do is you want to cook this on low for eight to 10 hours. It's a long time, but you know what? The pork's gonna get nice and tender anyway. And then later on, I'll do like I do my regular pulled pork. I'll shred it up. Okay, just make sure it's getting coated on all sides because that's what you really want. You want your pork to be nice and coated and it's gonna be so good. At the end of the day, once it's done cooking for the full six, for the full eight to 10 hours, it's gonna be so good. We're gonna try it for 10 hours today to see what, see what that does, but we won't go too far. But the slow cooker is doing a great job on high. And when you when you season it, you want to make sure you get it all over. So kind of rub it all over the pork. Okay, that's going to give it great basting liquid. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you, there's no liquid in the pork. There's no added liquid. Because the reason why is just because you know me. Okay? So that's rubbed in, you wanna rub it into that pork really good. Try to rub it in as best as you can, so that way the pork gets nice and coated. Okay, it's stuck on my hand, but that's fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wash my hands really, really good. Wash your hands really good, and then we're gonna throw the next two ingredients in. So now, this recipe is very simple to make. It's not really that difficult to make. Now the reason why we're gonna wash our hands is because cross, like I said, cross contamination. When you touch the meat, you gotta wash your hands really, really thoroughly. That that helps, okay? Wash your hands really good with warm water and soap. Okay? Alright, so a lot of you guys were asking me to make this recipe. Um, to make this recipe, which we're doing, we're making this recipe, and we're gonna cook it on low. Okay, so next what thing we're gonna do. Now I know it doesn't look like it's covered, but it is. It's really covered by that meat, which is what I like, which is what I want. Because later on we'll shred the meat. Okay, so next thing we're gonna throw in is some pepperoncinis. Now we don't need all of these. Now the same idea. You're just gonna throw them in your pork. You're gonna just put them, you can either do it two ways. You can either, oops, you can either um, put them around your pork, you can put them around your pork shoulder, or what you can even do, you can even, um, you can either put it around your pork shoulder or you can put it on top. Because 
that matters. That can make a difference of how you do this. But the one thing I will tell you guys is to make sure, I'm gonna just put them around. I'm actually gonna just put them on top, just put them around it. So you need six pepperoncinis. So we already have three. And remember, you do not put the liquid in that pork. No liquid added. Because throughout the day, this is gonna make its own juice. Okay, so you only need six pepperoncinis. It's just to give it a flavor boost. Okay. That's done. So now we're gonna throw in one stick of butter. And I'm gonna have to wash my hands. One, I'm actually not even gonna wash them. I'm actually gonna rinse my hands. Cause I just touched the little change. Okay, one stick of butter just goes on top and it'll melt and it'll cook down with our pork. It's gonna be so yummy at the end of the day. And we, and uh, I, I, I didn't mention this, but we will be shredding this later on with the pork. We're gonna be shredding this with our meat claws later on once it's done cooking for the full eight to ten hours or so. I'm gonna clean up here and then I'll get I'll put this on low. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let me get my lid so I can explain to you guys. So rules right cover it turn it down because it's on high right now just to heat it up. So I keep my slow so you guys know that. Turn it down cook it on low and we're gonna let this cook for eight to 10 hours. So I'm gonna, really I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go up, we're gonna go, now this slow cook can go up to 10 to 11 hours, but we're gonna turn it down, okay? We're gonna hit manual, and I'm gonna turn it down, and, all right, there we go. So, lid is on. It's on low, and we're gonna let this cook for about eight to 10 hours. And then after that, I'll come back, and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll shred our pork, and then that'll be it. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. And I'll be back, um, I'll be back later to show you what our pork looks like, and we'll shred it with, I know I haven't done this in a while. We'll shred this, we'll shred it with our meat claws. Okay, all right, so. Okay, so hopefully you guys will do this recipe. I'll be back later to show you what it looks like. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Bye, log on, peace out, boom. Okay, bye guys.